Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey, Calvary family, I hope you're doing well today. My name's Jared, and today's word for the day is on the parable of the two sons. So if you'd like to open your Bible or your Bible apps, we're going to be in Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 through 32. Uh, So let's go ahead and read. Jesus is speaking here, and he's speaking to the Pharisees. He says, what do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first, they answered. Jesus said, to, Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to show you the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and prostitutes did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. So Jesus, Jesus gives us this illustration of a father and his two sons. But let's talk about the, the second son for a second here. His father asked him to go work in the vineyard, and he said, yes, he will go, but he didn't. I think Jesus is referring to the religious leaders here. You see, with them, it's all talk. It's all show. They're saying all the right things. They're going through the motions and playing the part, but it's all fluff. It's just religion. But the first brother, on the other hand, when told to go work in the vineyard, he said he wouldn't go, but he had a change of heart, and he ended up obeying his father and went to work in the vineyard. You see... With the first brother, there was a change of heart. There was repentance and obedience. That's why Jesus told the Pharisees that even the tax collectors and the prostitutes would go before them in the kingdom. Well-known sinners of that day. And I don't know about you, but that's also a beautiful picture of God's grace right there, that he would say that and include them in. And uh, I am so grateful myself that God has included me. Uh, Just like the first brother, there's been so many times where my heavenly father has given me clear instructions on what to do, and I didn't listen. Uh, But once I was able to get out of my own way, and I could repent, and I finally obeyed what the Lord wants me to do. Look, we're not always going to do what God wants or requires of us in the moment we're asked to obey. We're going to mess up, but God's grace is amazing and allows us to start fresh with a clean slate regardless of our disobedience. I hope this message encourages you. Have a blessed day.